Hello, dragons! And we're back with another Project Zomboid Mod Showcase. This one's featuring the Armored Motorhome, the very first interior motorhome available. There's a couple of things I do need you to note, and that is you do need to make a new save game for this to work. Challenge maps are not supported, unfortunately. And in order to put this into multiplayer, you do have to have the vehicle matching the mode. So if it's single player, single player, vehicle, or multiplayer, choose that vehicle. But anyway, I'm excited to show you guys, so let's go! Starting with the front view, back view, and side view for you guys. And moving on to the back of the vehicle, this trunk does not have an animation, but it does have a maximum capacity of 270. It's freaking awesome, dude. And onto the front of the vehicle, there's no animation on the hood. However, here is the information available to you. If you wish to pause the screen, go ahead and do so. Moving on to the inside of the vehicle, you do have to access it from the side door there. And here are your options here, pretty much all standard. We're going to start with the horn. Horn's pretty much standard. Moving on to the headlights. Here we go. Boom, 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 boom. I don't know where they're coming from, but as you can see, there is headlights on this thing. Cool. And now for the nice bits of this thing, we're going to move into the inside of the vehicle. To do that, just go ahead and hit your seats and then choose the third option here and boom. You'll get this nice little window here that says enter. You say yes. And bam, dudes, we're inside of that nice freaking awesome vehicle. Look at that, dudes. So inside of the vehicle, it has tons of things for you to do. You have a fireplace on the left there. You have a fridge over here. You have a nice little oven, a microwave, and a bunch of containers down below. There's also an upstairs. Oh yeah, and if they ever decide to add bowel movements to the game, there is a nice little toilet to the right there. Upstairs, you have a nice little washing machine as well as a sink and a couple of containers here for more storage. I believe they hold 50. Yeah, pretty much all the storage containers are 50. And there's a little drawer over here with a maximum capacity of 20, as well as a bed and a sofa. Now a little bit more about the vehicle. There is light switches inside of both the first and second floor. This could make your game much easier because the power never shuts off. However, water does. So the only way to get water is there are two barrels that are hidden above you. And the only way to get water into these machines here, the washing machine and the sink, is to use the regular old plumbing system. So you're going to go ahead and right click here. You're going to see plumb blue combo washer driver. Go ahead and do that, but you need a pipe wrench. Once you're done doing that, you're going to go ahead and plumb it up. There it goes. Boom. Just like that. Now we're plumbed up. We can go ahead and wash your clothes if we want to. We can also drink from it. That's interesting. Go ahead and do that. Boom. Done. Thirst quenched. Awesome. And one more thing to take note of is you must take care of this vehicle because once it's lost, it's gone forever. Sorry, guys. If it's burned up, whatever, you smash it, it's done. That's it. Game over. And to get out of here, you just go ahead and right click and hit the exit here. Boom. We're out. There it is. Now hit the E key. And you're out of the whole vehicle. Freaking sweet, dude. And that there is the armored motorhome, the very first motorhome with interior. It's freaking awesome, dude. Hello, dragons! And welcome back to another Project Soundboy mod showcase. And this one is on the Autosar trailers. Let's get to it. All right, first two trailers I'm going to cover are these two buddies here. I'm going to go ahead and go through this one first. 198 storage capacity on that one and a 456 storage capacity on the other one. These are great for storing furniture or anything large, that's for sure. Moving on. All right, on to the Autostar 220 GENA, and we have a back view, a front view, and a side view for you. All right, so since this is a generator, we're going to go ahead and detach the unit real quick, because that's the only way we can use it. Once it's detached, we can go ahead and connect the generator. All right, now that we have the generator connected, we have several options here. We have spotlights. Freaking sweet, dude. And we also have generator info, which is going to cover your fuel and your condition rate. And you can also disconnect and start the generator. If you want to start the generator, just like doing so, there it is. You can hear it. Oh, it's running, baby. Here's the specs of the unit. If you want to go ahead and pause the screen, take a look. Go right ahead. And that's pretty much the Autostar 220. Moving on. All right, since that beauty takes a lot of fuel, you're going to need to haul some, aren't you? So yeah, you can go ahead and do that with this baby right here. It's called the Autostar k back I'm going to call it, and go ahead and pause the screen if you want to take a look at the uh, insides right here. This tanker also comes with storage. It has a storage capacity of 25. And we have a front view, back view, and side view for you guys. And that there is the k back tanker. One of my favorite feature of this mod. Alright, so I had to squeeze in here just to give you a view. You have the front view, the back view, and the side view of this trailer. This is the home trailer version. This is a great way to travel, that's for sure. Let's get to it. Alright, this baby has a trunk in the back. has a storage capacity of 55. The name of this unit is Autosar ILYA1990 Explorer. And if you want to go ahead and pause the screen, take a look at the features we have here, go ahead and do so. All right, so inside of the vehicle, we have several options here to start. This is the first seat. Every time we put our butt in a new seat, we get new options. All right, this one here has a sleep, so we have a bed in this one. Let's go ahead and jump seats. The fifth seat has a nice little bed over here as well. Let's jump to the next seat. 
All right, now we're in the fourth seat. So you have a fridge here. You can go ahead and turn it on, turn it off if you like to. This is the inside of the fridge. It has storage capacity of 20. All right, so inside of the third seat, we have a nice little microwave and a stove we can go ahead and utilize. Now you can go ahead and utilize them up here. Storage capacity of the stove is 10, and the storage capacity of the microwave is 10 as well. Using the stove and using the oven are pretty much the same as using them in the house. Just go ahead and click the microwave here. Boom. And go ahead and hit the stove here. Boom. Moving on. All right, so in the last and final seat, we have a nice little closed trunk and open trunk feature. Pretty sweet. We also have a couple of device options here. We have this one here, which is a standard radio. And then we also have a talking radio, which is right here. You can go ahead and turn it on with the power support. There we go. And it's ready to roll. As you can see here, we can also open up the windows. Freaking sweet, dude. And that there is the ILYA1990. Freaking awesome, I think. There's a couple of variations. I'm going to show you those next. Let's get to it. All right, onto the first other variants. We have the front view, back view, and side view. And for the second variant, here we are. Front view, back view, and side view. Looks freaking sweet, dude. I like this one the most. All right, before you haul off with this generator, you might want to disconnect it first. That's the only way you can pick it up. But yeah, my personal opinion on this mod, I freaking love it. I think I'd rather sleep in a freaking camper than to live in a freaking tent all the time. Hello, dragons! And we're back with another Project Zomboid mod showcase. And this one is featuring the Autosar Tuning Luton Van. Let's go! All right, here we have the front view, the back view, and the side view for you guys. All right, under the external storage, there is a storage capacity of 200, which is featured on the top here. I do have some crap in there. That's why there's a box. But this changes as you put more stuff on it. Pretty cool. Inside of the vehicle, here we are. We have the horn. Pretty much standard. And we're onto the headlights. Boom, 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 boom. Looks freaking sweet. Okay, what else do we have? All right, that's the end of the inside of the vehicle. Now we're onto the back side. We're going to go inside. There is no trunk here. This is going to be a completely different vehicle than what you're used to. Let's get inside. All right, if you watch my mobile bases before, then you pretty much know that switching seats gives you different options. Let's go and hop into the fourth seat. Boom, we now have a oven. Freaking sweet, dude. And a storage capacity of 20 on the shelves. On the third seat, we have a fridge and also a counter and shelves with a storage capacity of 20. Freaking sweet. And this is pretty cool. If you switch seats to the second seat or the first seat, you actually have to exit the vehicle. There is auto pathing, which is nice. Under the hood, here's all the good stuff. Go ahead and pause the screen if you want to take a look. Now, what's pretty cool about this vehicle is you can actually install a microwave, fridge, or any other appliance anytime you want in these free spaces here, which is pretty convenient. Now, I have all of these already occupied because this comes fully equipped when you use what I'm using. But anyway, moving on. Now, of course, we don't start off with the best of knowledge, so we have to use one of these magazines to learn all the things that we do need. You can see right there what you can create with this magazine after you read it, of course. On to the test drive, boys. There is no animation on the door, by the way. Let's get to it. Oh, yeah. Listen to that baby start up. Here we go, boys. Actually, I love this vehicle. I think driving is very smooth, and I am awful at driving in this game, but this makes me look amazing. Oh, there's our demolishment. Oh, my God. Look at that. It's so freaking awesome. Love that tank, dude. Love that tank. All right. If you like this video, go and dragon smash that like button. If you want more of these showcases, go ahead and subscribe. Become one with us, dragons. And I hope to catch you in the next friggin' video. Hello, dragons! And we're here with another Project Zomboid mod showcase. And this one is on the Auto Tsar Petrit Build 379. Let's go. Okay, so I have the front view, the back view, and the side view for you guys. This is the standard Petrit Build. Here is what's under the hood if you want to go ahead and pause the screen and take a look at all the options you have. If you're looking for external storage, you will not find it on this vehicle. Here's your options. Let's go ahead and check the horn. Good God, man. All right, let's go ahead and check the headlights. Freaking sweet, dudes. Now, since this is only a two-seater, we don't have a cabinet back here that we can switch to, which gives us the option, so let's move on. And that there is a standard Petrid build, 379. Let's continue. All right, so this is the sleeper unit of the 379. Here's the front view, the back view, and the side view for you guys. Again, here's what's under the hood. If you want to go and pause the screen, take a look at the options, go right ahead and do so. Now, I did happen to find a trunk on this one. It does have a storage capacity of 20. I don't know if I missed it on that one, but I don't believe so. Inside of the vehicle, here we are. Similar options. We're going to use the horn. Horn is freaking loud, dude. All right. Just like I said before, every time you put your butt in the seat in this one, this is a sleeper unit, so you're going to have several options for you every time you move seats. Let's go. In the third seat, you'll notice we have a refrigerator of a storage capacity of 20, as well as a bed. Freaking sweet, dude. Moving on to the next seat. In the fourth seat, here are your options here. We have a microwave this time and a bed. So I guess two people can sleep in this vehicle. Also in the fourth seat, we have a cabinet in here with a storage capacity of 20. And the microwave can hold up to 10. And I completely bypassed the second seat because it doesn't have very many options. As you see here, it's pretty much the same as the first seat, except you can't drive the thing. 
And that there is a sleeper version of the Petrick build 379. Let's keep going. Okay, and last but not least, we have the sleeper long unit. Let's go and check this baby out. We have the front view, back view, and side view. And here's what lies beneath the hood. We have all these options for you. If you want to go ahead and pause the screen, go ahead and do so. There is a side trunk on this unit that holds a capacity of 20. Inside of the vehicle, here are your options for the first seat. We're going to go ahead and check out the horn. Still freaking loud, dude. All right, and then we're going to check out the headlights here. Check that out. Looks freaking sweet. I don't know if it's just my headphones. Maybe it's my headphones. I don't know, but let's keep going. All right, just like the standard sleeper, we can switch our butt to a different seat. Check out the options we have. In the third seat, we have a fridge here that holds up to 20 capacity and also a bed. And moving on to the fourth seat, we have the same set of options that you've seen in the regular sleeper. We do have a microwave that holds a storage capacity of 10, as well as a little cabinet that stores up to 20. And that there is a Petri built 379 sleeper long. Let's go for a test drive. All right, boys, let's get that engine going. There we go. Oh, I love that sound. All right, here we go. We're going to drive this thing, see how it goes. I'm going to show you an extra detail here. When you stop, this is what happens. That's freaking sick, dude. Moving on. All right, we're going to smash some zombies here. Look at this. Freaking sweet, dude. Yeah, I love this mod. I think you will love this mod. If you don't, let me know in the comments. If you do, let me know in the comments. Hello, dragons! And we're back with another Project Zomboid Mod Showcase. And this one's featuring the Autozar Tuner de Rumba Van. Could this van be your next base? Well, let's see. Let's go! Here we have the front view, the back view, and the side view for you guys. Under the hood, and there is no animation on the hood. If you want to go and pause your screen and take a look at this stuff, go right ahead and do so. Under the back of the vehicle, there's no animation on the trunk. However, the trunk capacity is 30. And if you're lucky enough to obtain a roof rack, well, awesome, because it has a 200 weight capacity. And it also supports a roof toolbox. If you happen to find one of those in the world, you can definitely install that on top of it. And onto inside of the vehicle. Here are the options here. We're going to start with the horn. Sounds pretty standard. We're going to go on to the headlights. Boom, 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 boom. And if you notice, there's armor on this vehicle. It's definitely supported, so you can install it if you wish to do so. And the answer to the question that I asked in the beginning, can you make this vehicle your base? Absolutely, you definitely can, and this is how. One thing that's pretty cool about this vehicle, it does have a side door, so you can get right into your base if you want to. And just like the other tuning mods, you can definitely switch seats, and each seat equals a different appliance or appliances. So we're going to go ahead and do that now. In the third seat, we have a stove as well as a bed, which is pretty cool. And in the fourth seat, we have available a freezer and a, another stove. Interesting. All right, well, we could change that out if we wanted to. Moving on. Now, if you're moving to the front seats, you have to actually get out of the seat. If you go ahead and click the button, however, it will do it all by itself, just like you see. Boom, just like that. And if you're wondering on how to install appliances to this vehicle, right here you see four spaces that are free for you. You can go ahead and uninstall one of these, which is right now we're on a microwave. Just uninstall just like that. He'll go back there and he will rip that thing right out of there, just like so, and then install it with, let's just put, I don't know, a fridge. Sounds good. Do it. There you go. You can find this stuff in the world, by the way. And if you don't like what's already on your vehicle, such as the armor, what have you, you can also uninstall that as well. In order to do all that stuff, though, you will need a magazine. This is the magazine you need. It comes with all this knowledge that you see here, so you can do everything on this list. All right, boys, it's time for the test drive. Let's get in this thing, turn on the ignition, and see how it sounds. Oh, yeah. All right, here we go, boys. The driving is great with this vehicle. I didn't have a problem steering the thing. I think turns were great. The speed of the vehicle is awesome. And I really don't have anything bad to say about the thing. I think it's really enjoyable and I think you should have it. That's it for this video. If you like this video, go dragon smash that like button and subscribe. Become one with us dragons. And I hope to catch you in the next video. Goodbye for now.